for children, Exidia is back with another live reaction. Now this is a very special one. The goddess of creation meets the god of triumph. Goddess Blaze meets shield. Now I've been anticipating this event after I, myself, have met the young shield. So this is definitely going to be interesting. So without further ado, let's get into this. Well, nothing much has happened around here, thankfully. <laughs> Probably after I dealt with that incident. Hm. I love seeing my Still beautiful have wife. To roll on. Everything that happened with that being, but you know what? It's fine. You know what? And since everybody is taking some time to relax. <laughs> <sighs> Wish some people would understand I can be able to handle things myself. But uh, I know everybody has to open the doors for me. They don't need to. <laughs> Plus, it's a beautiful day outside. <laughs> Wait a minute. Something is off. I've never seen that citizen, or what if it isn't? Hmm. Hold it right there! <laughs> I haven't seen you around here. I've never seen you before either. Hmm. Well, you are in my kingdom. So that's where I ended up. State your name, and where you're from. Kira, I'm from the Shadow Kingdom in a different universe or multiverse or wherever I ended up. Hmm. <laughs> Kira. Do you also go by Chilled by any chance? Yeah, that's what my friends call me. Yep. <laughs> How would you know that? I was just simply reading out your aura. <laughs> Very simple but... for us to actually know. You may refer you may refer to me as Blaze, the goddess of the soul and of creation. Yes, she is. Yeah. So, a place that's a goddess. That's <laughs> something new. I see you learn something new every day. <laughs> yes, though, with how the aura is, I do sense faint chaos energy. But then again, it could be from an emerald. But the rest of you, I feel a lot of soul energy within you. One, how do you get all that soul energy? Two, what do you use it for? And three, why are you so fluffy for a hedgehog? <laughs> well, one, I used the soul emeralds from a different dimension to save my friends and protect them. Second reason is because I had to stop my brother from causing chaos. Third reason is probably because I'm part uh, fox. Part fox. Why does that remind me well, of one of Executor's daughters? <laughs> so who now? You prob if you ever heard of him, you probably know him as Exidier, but he also go his full name is Execute. Uh, yes, you know me, boy. Oh, him. Yeah, it's been a while. I heard that name. Oh, you know about him. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, I know, I guess, one of his daughters, I guess, if that's what he calls him. That would be Tavaria. Is she 
a sailor scout. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> I've been catching her upon my radar. Apparently, he's been. Apparently, as far as I'm aware, the executor is has plans for her later on. That I do. I'm hoping to at least be able to meet her before he enacts on those plans. Want to we'll make sure we'll think of, we'll no, talk about she it. She absolutely knows what she's getting herself into. But as for mm. you, though. Hmm. How well do you know how to use all that soul energy? I feel like I know a good margin of it, but I feel like there's still something missing. There's always like there's still something one I have thing you can learn about the energies you like, use. Like, I've reached a, a plateau in my power. Chaos there's and soul blocking me from going any higher. Are limitless, have limitless potential hmm. for uses. Well, plateaus tend to happen a lot. It, though, it doesn't mean to despair, but let me take a read. Go ahead. Hmm. You hit a plateau, you just need to know why. Well, it, or how. So far with how your you knowledge can break of soul energy, said as well as plateau. seeing it being able to mer merge together with your own power, as well as your own blood. So far, you're at a very good point that most others were, una were unable to reach. Mm. Though I do see huh. that, yes, there is something that needs to be unlocked. Yeah, I figured as much. <laughs> Though, you also gotta remember too, Akira. When you try to build- when you try to build that up. Make sure that at least you're not trying to overdo yourself to get to the top, because that's not going to be able to work. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you'll be stuck at that plateau. She's telling the truth. Figure that. Soul comes from the heart, just like chaos. Chaos. Yeah. And try not to in inter and try not to intermingle the chaos energy and the soul energy a little too much. That way, maybe. You might be able to handle chaos control a little bit easier. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I take it that chaos whenever you use chaos control. Is... Oh. <laughs> okay. Well. Yeah. Thankfully, you got the bare minimum there. If it was. Yeah, I'm uh, flat on my face. Yeah, it's not fun. That, yeah, that's usually the very minimum, because if you combine soul energy with chaos energy too much when using chaos control, usually the bare minimum, obviously falling flat on your face. If, however, sometimes it can range from your fur fur Chaos and soul are actually fairly complementary. You can actually merge the two powers. Yeah. Not a lot of people do, though. It's alright. <laughs> I know, not a very good, because not it's a, a very good mental health. Because experience. unfortunately the learning curve for not it not is all, 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 all. practically impossible, but it isn't truly impossible. Hmm. Though, hmm. It's hence the reason Blaze and I are... Though from the Shadow Kingdom you say, that does explain a little bit on... Compatible the, if opposing. Hmm. Yeah. Probably very, very dark. Mm. A bit, but I've seen darker. <laughs> I'm sure. I mean, if you know Z Z Zidier, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, when it comes to the Executor, pretty much he, he can be cocky at times, but he's also wise. And just expect cocky, him to meet huh? him again in the future. Not cockiness, I'm Especially confident. Especially if you to be, uh, Especially if you After have to cast some of I had to figure out that I was a great chaos. He's gonna definitely want to have a word with you and get to know and understand you a little bit better. Good to know. <laughs> Keep my eye out. Mm -hmm. My journey was one of self-discovery. Though I also do see that there has been a lot of emo emotional damage from your past. <sighs> yeah. 
I won't bring it up. Don't worry. Damage. Don't yeah. worry. I'm not gonna bring yeah, everything up. I just know that I see the emotional damage, some of the mental damage that has happened over the years. Though, at the same time, seems like you're still able to stand up. Yeah. It's one of those things where I knew if I didn't, I'd die, so... Hmm. Survival instinct. Hmm. Yeah, I had to do that a lot as a kid. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> so young. Though I sometimes wonder what other worlds are coming to if they're gonna leave a child on their own. Let the story begin. It wasn't my parents' fault. I know. It was the force that separated you from them. They're the ones that fought. Yeah. Yeah. I, I see. I to find the bastards that put me through my hell. Mm hmm. Hmm. Though, seems that there may be some other things, so At least something a little bit more current, because, well, I do see that you have a bit more of a mother figure in your life now. <laughs> yeah, I think my mother died. Mm -hmm. hmm. Just this woman reminded me so much of her. <laughs> hmm. But, wait. Hold on. Hold still for a moment. Okay. Huh. I think I know why there's a plateau. There's a cloud running through you right now. A but cloud? it's not... Though it's not because of anything ah, that yes. happened in your past. I saw, I saw that. Normally, it's hard to find a cloud within someone. But whenever there is. By a the way, I'm someone, very much enjoying listening to my wife's loving voice mind, as she speaks. There is memory loss. But her voice carries power, authority, right and wisdom around your heart. Just funny you would it's think that she wasn't. For your spirit. Well, originally she was a thousand years old before she kind of got me. Now her age is. Tell me, did anything unusual? Well, she's happen? ageless now. Um, in recent in recent months, where maybe something unexplainable happened, maybe you're hearing a voice without realizing, or. An odd vision of something that you know is not your memory? Slash seven head. Hmm? Me and Peace have been having these flashes a lot in these past few months. Really, no. I don't understand what it is. And if you're saying there's like a cloud surrounding my heart and all that, then. There's gotta be something making that happen then. Maybe what? that's it. You said you said the Sailor Scout. Tell me, um what kind of bond do you and her have in regards to, well, becoming her holder? Oh I see you're extremely close. It's like like a sister to me. Mm-hmm. Well, do you feel that maybe when you two had first met, that you felt something tugging you towards her, like you shouldn't leave her side, even though you see her more as a sister than anything else? Now that you mention it... <sighs> feel that. Mm-hmm. Strange. Well, I don't know much of this too much, but from what it seems like, you and her have a special kind of bond. Do they now? Some may say it could surpass blood, 
Some say it could surpass even even other types of friendship. You have what they call a spiritual bond with her. I see. Sorry, said something similar. I shouldn't mention who with. Hmm? That is quite interesting. Or, yeah. Just mentioned something similar. A while ago when I was dealing with my brother. Mm hmm. But she never specified on who that person was. Kind of leading, leaning towards it being peace, but I just didn't understand if it was right. Hmm. But that is the case. <sighs> well then, guess just found out some very good information. Then I see. Possibly because if you two are linked as a spiritual bond, chances are. Maybe those memory, those memories that you've been having that are not yours, those voices you heard, flashes of light, that cloud. All of it. My guesstimate is correct. It could possibly be you knew each other before you two were even born. How interesting. Oh shit. That's before, the case. Before Prince Akira was born, and before Yina even came to existence. Hmm. Well, if that's the case. Hmm. How interesting these little things play out. If you do try to at least look into this more, just be very careful. Because I do feel that if you look any further, there are going to be obstacles, mainly physical ones. And there are always yeah. obstacles. And if you look deeper within, within the past, I would estimate that that this bond that you and her have is over five thousand years old. Wow, well, very interesting. Oh shit! Very interesting indeed. That's a culture shock. <laughs> I hope I didn't add too much shock to you there, Chills. Or Akira, sorry. A shock to the system. <laughs> it's okay. Call me whatever. Alright. But... If we really do have a bond that old and that strong... Well... It's not like anything's gonna change. I will state this though if you do believe that the bond is strong and you do believe in it maybe the answers will approach you on their own but if you feel the need to do a little more research go ahead but do not push yourself and possibly in due time once you've either Probably when it comes to that plateau, you also told me. Maybe two things can happen. Can happen. Two Either things can happen, huh? For one, maybe, maybe a very intense battle in the future will unlock what you have not yet unlocked. Or another one. If my guesstimate's correct, once you and Yena are able to collect, are able to collect all those memories, it won't just be you that may have unlocked something. It could be her too. Oh, well, that's the case. That's the reason why Executor took her in. Then again, he always has a reason as to why he empowers certain people. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
and a word of advice. There is always a method to my madness. I know that you and her are close. After all. But if you <laughs> push it too much to the limit. If you push it too much to the limit. Then it you could God always has a not plan. only cause damage to your bond, but it could cause damage to the both of you physically and mentally. <sighs> that is <laughs> that intense, huh? It's a very strong one, surprisingly. But again, for now, like I said, don't do anything too brash. But definitely, but definitely keep going with your research. Right. And also one other thing too. If you do happen to meet Exidier sooner rather than later. Remember that if he, if you have questions for him, if you bring this up, just try not to make it look like an interrogation. Sometimes it's best you find out <laughs> what the, what the reasons are. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Oh, that would be a lot funnier. Oh. At any, at any rate, though, but will you be needing uh, help with getting back home or? You think you got it taken care of? Yeah, I think I got it. I yeah, had this instant transition here, and here I can instant transition out. Very well then. Though, I'll be sure that if you do pop up here again, and if any of my guards or my subjects find you here, I'll let them know you're not a threat, Akira. Yeah. Thanks. And if you happen to run into Yena or Sailor Peace, tell her to come by my kingdom. I actually would like to meet her sooner rather than later. <laughs> gotcha. Well, this is perfect. I'll, le I'll leave you be for now. This okay. meeting definitely opened the door to a lot well. more things. I don't know why, but I have this feeling that your sister might go through a lot of pain. Don't abandon her when she goes through it. She... She'll need her companions in order to get through it after all. I never would. And remember, a spiritual bond can be much more powerful than blood. Farewell, Akira. Farewell. <laughs> Interesting. <sighs> With all that power that he has, and him still trying to figure everything out, Uh, I have... I surprisingly have faith in him. <laughs> but... If the message doesn't get through... I better make sure Just... to let my subjects know to expect Yena here soon. I do expect the message to get through. Ah, so this meeting was very... The anticipated, and I am glad that it is now within the history books. Now all of my plans and all of the pieces are lining up. The only thing that needs to happen now is to meet the rest of them, as well as make my way over to my darling, darling wife, the Scottish Blaze, as she is waiting for my arrival. <laughs> and chilled. It does seem that he has hit that plateau, but he might, he'll find a way to break it so that his limits may grow once again. 
there's a lot of things that are happening and a lot of pieces on the board that are moving. So, now, only time and the will of chaos shall guide these events, events to their proper completion. <laughs> well, my children, that is it for my life action. If you enjoyed this and you are looking forward to more, make sure you guys click that subscribe button, click the notification bell, leave a like, share this video around so that others may see my light reaction. After all, I know there are a lot of people who are curious as to what I am cooking up. <laughs> all in due time. I will see all of you next time.